Allen Career Institute announces special leader course for JEE main and advanced classes from 15th April. For more detail, log on to allen.ac.in. Solution to question number 15. It's a very simple question on thermodynamics. The PV diagram is given to us. And what is being asked, that is the important part that what is the heat extracted from the source now heat extracted from the source will be the one which is the being supplied to the system now if you look at this there are only two stages where heat is being supplied that is this one where you can see at isochoric conditions pressure is increasing that means heat must be supplied here and again at this situation where at isobaric condition volume is increasing in these, two, in these two parts of the process, heat is not being supplied, but heat is being rejected. So we need to calculate only these two. So this is an isochoric process. For isochoric process, we can write NCV T delta T as heat supplied. And for isobaric process, we can write NCP delta T as heat supplied. Now, Cv for monoatomic gas will be 3R by 2 and this is going to be T2 minus T1 and this is N5R by 2 T2 minus T1 for that particular cycle and this can be simplified as 3R by 2 into this is the final pressure volume that is 2 P naught V naught and this is the initial pressure that is P naught V naught and for the isobaric process it is N 5 R by 2 that is 5 R by 2 and this is the final scenario, final pressure and volume which is 4 P naught V naught and this is the initial which is 2p0 v0. When we solve this for the heat supplied, we get the required answer which is 13 by 2 p0 v0 which makes option 2 as our answer. Question number 16. In question number 16, it says there is a hoop kept on a rough horizontal surface given some angular velocity omega naught and they are asking what will be the velocity of this hoop when it starts pure rolling now an interesting solution can be if we take a point on the ground and if we write angular momentum of this hoop about this point it comes out to be m into because center of mass has got no velocity velocity MBR of center of mass plus angular momentum about center of mass which is MR square omega naught. This is the initial angular momentum about point A. And we can see that angular momentum about point A is going to remain conserved. Why? Because the force of friction will be passing through point A producing no torque. Normal contact force and Mg will balance. So net torque about point A is going to be zero. And the final angular momentum when it starts pure rolling with some velocity v and angular velocity v by r can be written mvr plus mr square v by r. And by conserving angular momentum and equating these two quantities, it is very easy to calculate that the angular velocity that the velocity will be omega naught r by two. And hence our answer. For this particular problem will be option number 